Hello, this is David Decker, Decker Web on Twitter. Today I want to show you one of my newest Genesis plugins. It is called Genesis What's New Info and of course for Genesis Framework. So this is the plugin page on WordPress.org and now I want to show you what the plugin does. So we are now in one of my project installs that is currently running on Genesis version 1.9.2. So, and we will just install the plugin via dashboard uh, admin. We go to install plugins, search for Genesis uh, what's new. So let's do a search. So here it is the plugin, currently 1.0. Uh, I've already installed the plugin here just to show you how you can do it, uh, the searching. And now have a look at the installed plugins. So this does now load my plugin page. Okay, it is here. So now you see it, Genesis What's New Info. We just activate it. So a plugin is activated. We go back to our Genesis settings page. So let's have this. And I just do a reload. And now you see this is the thing we wanted here. A What's New link on the left hand menu. Uh, this is uh, also with the current version, with the branch version. The branch is 1.9, so it does not uh, show the, the minor updated version, only the, the parent branch. So let's click on it. This is the Genesis uh, 1.9 welcome page. You have all the stuff listed that uh, is was new in this uh, version branch. Uh, the, the new features, what's changed, the roadmap, and the developers. And you can go to Steam settings or SEO settings from that. This page you normally will only see when you do an update, but now with my plugin you can see it and go to it anytime you want. So this is the plugin. This is what it does. It displays a new link here. So now let's have a demo when we update to a newer version than Genesis 1.9. What happens then? So we will uh, do a update install of Genesis 2.0 release candidate version. And now let's have a try how we do it. I have prepared uh, some of the stuff and I will upload the new Genesis 2.0 release candidate. I just make a hard override, but this is not a problem here. So let's just override the, the files with the new uh, updated files from Genesis 2.0. So just upload those as well. So now switch back to our WordPress install. And now let's load the dashboard and see what happens. So this is perfectly well. This is all live, so this was no fallback. So and this is also what my plugin does. It shows this additional link. This is what uh, is always shown from Genesis Core. And this is added from my plugin, so you you have the the update info, the congratula congratulations, and now you can just have a look what's new and go to this uh, link. This is the same as this. So these are the two new links that my plugin hooks in. So let's have a click. So and this is the welcome page for Genesis 2.0. This is the release candidate, but I guess this is the final, 
the um, the final wording so you can really try it with the genesis beta tester plugin already to try out yourself you have all the newest features for genesis 2.0 like H H html5 markup microdata a new sample team and other minor features but really important and as well as the lead developers listing the contributors listing i've also done a bit of stuff uh, mostly regarding translations so this is a handy feature and where do i use such a feature i guess this is uh, for developers for agencies also for clients if you have a client that has webmaster capabilities you can install this plugin and always see what's new what's changed uh, between the version branches and this is a handy new feature should be in genesis core but now you get it with my uh, plugin this is the plugin Genesis What's New Info. This is from uh, DeckerWeb. <laughs> That's me. So you can have a download, install it, and try for yourself. This is really lightweight and simple. Only loading in admin. Really handy, simple stuff. Just try it out. So thanks for watching. This is David from Germany. Thank you.